y'all, it's Jayla here, back with Old Pecan Homestead. I just realized that I have not done a worm update for you guys. So, I am in here in the office. Um, I've been working on getting it cleaned up. We're getting ready to get paint in here. And then, uh, we ripped the flooring out because the animals have all been in here. Uh, the pigs have turned around, written around, and locked themselves in here. They've urinated all over the place. It's been really nasty. So I got the carpet out, got it all cleaned up in here, um, got the floor bleached and we're probably just going to stain it and then, uh, paint and anyway, I'll take some pictures of before and after and trying to get a little more organized and get things in routine. And, uh, like I said, we're going to start making t-shirts and, um, and, and getting those listed out on Facebook and then maybe on here, I don't know when that shop button comes out or whatever but we'll get to that soon and uh i'll show you more on the office as we as we uh progress with that and hopefully in the next two weeks those will be available but we'll let you guys know um don't forget to hit that like button while you're sitting here and uh, I'll, I'll show you these worms the lighting in here is one thing we're gonna fix there's one very there's a small ceiling fan and one very, very, very tiny bulb. So that's something that's going to get addressed too. But uh, I wanted to show you these worms. Uh, they've been doing really gr good. I think that the boys have stolen almost all of my night crawlers. So there's just red wigglers in here that I can tell. Um, we like to throw them all of our, all of our scrap veggies obviously you can tell Liza you better get out of here let me go feed them because they're gonna be annoying we're gonna get that door frame we're gonna try to get the door frame turned around or put a storm door in dorm in storm door in because they push through all the time it's it's just been a pain but anyway back to the worms so as you can see right here it looks pretty dry on the top of this um, but right here where I moved some of the veggies, you can see the movement. So th this dirt does get really dry and I just, I've got a can over here that I just dump some water in every few days. It's nice and moist down here where these worms are, but you can see, look at the soil. I mean, it's, this is that soil, uh, that uh, potting soil mix that I initially started with in the first video, which I'll link at the end of this video. And um, just vegetables. They ate all that paper that I had put down. And I just, this is just all our scrap veggies. It gets split up between the worms and the pigs and the chickens. But you can see, I mean, this is really rich, rich uh, soil here. And eventually, as as this thing fills up, the more they turn and as it fills, then I'll start adding in um, other things. Like, I've thrown some rabbit manure in here. And uh, it, we'll just add in more and more and more as they can handle it. But right now, you just turn all this over and they'll, they'll eat on it. That'll be their meal. Look at that rich soil. It's beautiful. So at some point, when I have enough worms, uh, I may actually buy more just to add to this to get them moving faster. But they've already, I mean, you can easily tell they've, they've doubled. There's so many tiny worms in here now. And um, there's just, there's a lot more of them too. But the goal is to eventually start selling fishing bait and then enough, hopefully... Eventually, I'll have enough that I can start selling composting worms. That's going to be probably a ways down the road, but um, but that is one of the goals. You can see I'm moving in here. Let's see how close we can get. Pretty cool. See all this? This is... Look at this. Check this out. Let's see how close we can get here. Do you see that? 
Look at all those worms in there. That is way cool. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of them eating on that one. Let's check this side out. And um, if you're wondering if it stinks, it does not stink at all. There's no smell here. They, I don't put in so much that they can't handle it. I put in just enough that they can eat on for a couple of weeks and then we add more. Well, these should get bigger than this. Well, these are, a lot of these are babies because they've already doubled. I've had them for, mm. had these for, let's see, almost four months now. Yeah, there's one of the night crawlers. I don't have very many of these oh, left. Not a night crawler. Oh, you think that's a red wood? That's a red wood. Look. I think that's a baby night crawler. I don't know. There's one. There's an active one. A little bit bigger. There's, they're definitely. See, it's nice and moist in here. But I'll just take a watering can and I'll pour it in here every few days just to keep it nice and moist. But you can see there's plenty of good movement. So it's really easy. I really don't do anything except throw scraps in about once every, depending on how much I throw in, about once every two weeks. You just throw in some scraps. And then uh, just make sure you keep the soil moist. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, but... Just moist enough. And then I keep them in here and the climate stays probably between, I don't know, 75 and 90. But see, you just take this and just sprinkle right on top. I'm not going to do a whole lot because it's pretty moist in there. That just keeps them happy. Keeps them from being all dried out. But, yep, sometimes I come in here just to turn it around, make sure there's still movement, make sure there's no um packed in areas and make sure and, and and just to know how much food is left in there for them but that's the update on the worms if you guys were wondering i'm still planning on getting um mealworms that's another deal once i get this office cleaned up that'll be another thing that i start is mealworms and um and hopefully, maybe I'll order some more of these. Get these open so they can eat. They like that water inside there, too. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'm still pretty new to worm farming. Um, this is all I got so far. <laughs> I'm hoping to get a lot bigger with this and have, and be able to have so many that I can spread them out between containers, flower beds, and all that. But, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Wow, my hands all covered in dirt now. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, like I said. And if you're not subscribed, please do so already and check out the rest of our videos. We'll catch you next time.